Morning class, welcome to part two of this acrylic landscape painting techniques video on how to create a landscape painting. So now we've got our darkest dark and our lightest light, we can introduce the colours that we pre-mixed previously. If you're unsure how to mix any of these colours, have a look at my video, how to match acrylic paint colours for a landscape painting. I think that's what it's called anyway. And I go through how I matched these three colours to this landscape. This painting is going to be quite a painterly approach, just to block in some colours, get you started in painting, build your confidence and have some fun. Okay, here we go with the first blue that we mixed the colour match for the sky. This is using the Filbert brush. Um, if you've got a flat brush, that'd be absolutely fine as well. So you notice when I come into the edge of the line, I'm I'm not like trying to draw out that edge. I'm not going, you know, in really finely to you know to draw it. Or what often is a tendency for, for beginners is that you uh, you know get the smallest brush you can find and you start to paint and you and you do like one one little millimeter at a time. Um, you, you end up with one area you're painting you're really happy with and you think, oh, this is brilliant and other areas won't be finished or gone to the same level and you can get too precious about your painting see how you know just kind of putting it on and you know being quite general with it it will give you a, a better sense of freedom and you won't get as precious and your painting will have you know a bit of your personality into it so this area here where i know that it's going to be lighter than this but i still want to get rid of this yellow I'll just add a bit of uh, water to it and again you see how I use the side of the filbert and you can just soften it in you know you've got a, a general tone on there but um, it's not too hard you don't want to build it up too thick because then it's harder to work over the top and to change the colour that you've got underneath it So because this is still wet, you see how you get a soft a soft blend? That's nice for clouds because it, you're not left with such a hard edge. And if I've gone further over, I can add a bit of that blue, you know, just work it back into it. What I'm doing um, off camera is I've got a, a piece of kitchen roll that when I do a, you know, a stroke on here and then say I want to then swap the colour, I'm just kind of working it into the kitchen roll and then I go into the other colour. So you don't have to wash your brush out between every single brush stroke, especially if the tones are very close like these two, that I know that I'm going to be doing you know, a, a blend between the two. So again on this edge, see how I grab a bit of um, you know the paint onto the brush, the lighter blue, 
and then work it kind of half over and it, it, it's very soft you know if you you see how you know how gently I can how I can work that and it will just um, you know and it will just soften it in just to blend um, the blend that edge what you don't want to do is have a, a you know a cloud that looks like you've taken a big you know sharpie marker and uh, you know kind of gone gone around the edge and, and outlined it it's always better to keep it softer it's very easy to put in a hard edge later if you need to kind of you know accentuate one part of it for these parts in here where it is a, a bit closer you could you know still do it with um with the filbert but if you want to get it a bit more precise you just swap back to your round brush and if you remember this lighter color that I premixed previously you can now just you know add in a bit of that So on this area, because uh, when we look at the picture again, you can see how it's got you know warmth underneath it. Um, the way that you can work thinly with acrylics is more of like a, a glaze process to kind of blush it in on here, not as go as heavy as this, so we get some of that colour you know shining through. See so how I've made it a, a bit more liquid. Again, you know, I'm putting it on, but being quite light. You see how now that's got, you know, a bit of a warm, warmth glow. It's it's using what's called optical mixing, where the colours are optically mixed between using glazing, um, and the colour is made on the viewer's eye rather than having to actually mix precisely every single colour that you see um, in front of you. So now I've got that here, and that's thinner. I might. Uh, Go in with this paint again just to make it a bit thicker on parts so I know that's got a real good solid tone to it and I'm just kind of looking over it to try and see if there's any areas that, that stand out okay we can now introduce some of the creamy color that we mixed previously